Two days on from Tucker Carlson's exit from Fox News and the network has still failed to provide a specific reason as to why he left. This has prompted speculation about a number of different motivations, one of which is somewhat bizarre to say the least. According to a source who spoke to Vanity Fair, Rupert Murdoch made the decision after being freaked out by Tucker Carlson's speech to the Heritage Foundation on Friday night. Specifically Carlson talking about spirituality, prayer, and the fact that the battle for America is a struggle between good and evil. Oh no, can't have that. Maybe we should all take just like 10 minutes a day to say a prayer about it. I'm serious. Like, why not? And I'm saying that to you, not as some kind of evangelist, I'm literally saying that to you as an Episcopalian. Rupert Murdoch was perhaps unnerved by Carlson's messianism because it echoed the end times worldview of Murdoch's ex fiance Anne Leslie Smith, the source said. Murdoch and Smith called off their two-week engagement because Smith had told people Carlson was a messenger from God. Murdoch had seen Carlson and Smith discuss religion firsthand. In late March, Carlson had dinner at Murdoch's Bel Air Vineyard with Murdoch and Smith, according to the source. During dinner, Smith pulled out a Bible and started reading passages from the book of Exodus, the source said, Rupert just sat there and stared. A few days after the dinner, Murdoch and Smith called off the wedding. By taking Carlson off the air, Murdoch was also taking away his ex's favourite show. Is that really the reason Carlson was canned? Seems a bit petty, doesn't it? Would Murdoch really drop his biggest talent on a whim? Because his girlfriend's Bible bashing annoyed him. Yeah, big doubt. Commentators have also noted that Carlson had 18 months left on his contract. And Lachlan Murdoch was apparently in talks with Carlson to extend it through to 2029. But obviously that didn't happen. Now some are saying that Carlson could be benched for the next 18 months. Still being paid by Fox News, but frozen out and unable to start any new media project or appear on any other shows? Is that why Tucker's remained virtually silent on the whole issue? His only response so far was to text a Politico reporter with the words, Ha, I'm sure. That was his reaction to being told that top DOD and Pentagon officials were basically popping champagne corks on his exit. We're a better country without him bagging our military every night in front of hundreds of thousands of people, one senior DOD official told Politico. Good riddance, added another. And that reaction kinda tells you everything you need to know about the overriding fact actors behind what happened. But he wasn't bagging on the military, was he? He was bagging on the military industrial complex. He was bagging on military bosses for appearing to care more about enforcing diversity quotas than well, I don't know, defending America? Avoiding more harmful entanglements and foreign interventions. Given his vehement opposition to the deep state at virtually every turn, it's surprising that Tucker even lasted this long. Watch my video on the main channel for more, it's linked below in the description. Get early access to videos, exclusive live streams and personally DM me. You've seen how much I get demonetized all the time. Well, this is how you support me. By subscribing at pauljosephwatson.locals.com Please click the link in the description.